are some facts you may have missed after watching Ashino Ko. Hashino Ai made her debut as a member of an idol group called Bikamaji, where all members wear animal-related accessories. Ai wears a rabbit accessory, while the other members wear hamster, panda, frog, dog, penguin, and cat accessories. But that's not the only synergy they share. The way they dress also focuses on making Ai the center of attention. In the opening of episode 1, only Ai wears a colored shirt while the others wear white shirts. This pattern is also shown when Ai made a comeback and performed on a live stream, where she is the only one wearing a black belt and the other members wear white belts. Despite Bikamichi's focus on making Hashino Ai the center, the group's members always wear clothes in a rainbow color formation, since there are seven members in the group. The reason for the varying dress colors is that fans who watch their performances will bring a light stick with a color related to the member they want to support. If a fan uses more than one glow stick with a different color, it means they are supporting more than one member simultaneously. In the opening scene of episode 1, fans are shown holding mostly red glow sticks, indicating that most of them support Ai since she was wearing red dress. This is further evidence during Ai's funeral, where some fans brought red glow sticks to show their grief. However, during a mini-concert for a promotional event, there weren't many supporters of Ai, as the glow sticks were dominated by yellow. Even the bandana guy who always appears in Bikamichi's performances turned out to be a supporter of yellow at first, and the next time he brought a red glow stick, it was already too late. But don't worry, Ruby and Aqua were idol otaku in their previous life and still support Hashino Ai even after being reincarnated, especially since they were born as her children. They show their support by holding red light sticks while dancing, which is the color that Ai wears to show that they are supporting her. The dance they are doing is called Wodage, which is a dance performed by Woda or Otaku involving arm waving and performed with a glow stick. The dance is actually quite hard to do and requires some practice to master, but the twins managed to do it perfectly in sync, which is all the more reason it went viral on social media. On Ruby's previous life as Serena, she had a lot of merchandise collections related to Hashino Ai. She wore a hairpin that matched Ai's spirit animal, a bunny, on her cap and used a bunny phone strap. We can also see Serena keeping a Bikamichi logo that has rainbow colors like their color formations. Notice when Serena was watching Bikamichi's performance, and it is the same recording that is watched by Goru, proven by how similar Ai's waving hand on the screen is. Sadly, not too long after her scene, Serena passed away due to her illness called anaplastic astrocytoma, which is a type of brain cancer. This was the main reason why Serena was unable to walk properly and needed to prepare for her fall. Serena was not the only one with Hashino Ai merchandise. In the opening of episode 2, there is a clip showing a name tag with a Hashino Ai keychain. The name tag belonged to Goru, and the keychain was a gift from Serena before she passed away. Although the keychain was not shown most of the time, like when Goro met Ai for the first time, it was briefly shown when Goro and Ai met on the rooftop. The other time it was shown was when Goro was about to be murdered by Ai's stalker, and the keychain was clearly visible on his name tag when Goro was walking back home. This suggests that Goro wears it all the time and that the stalker may have deduced that Goro knows about Ai and is currently helping her because of his name tag. Goro followed the stalker to the mountain to uncover his identity, but the stalker outsmarted him and pushed him off a cliff, killing him in the process. As Goro was about to die, his life flashed before his eyes. It was hinted that he only lived with his grandmother, based on a family photo. The reason why Goro felt confident about chasing the stalker in the mountain was that he lived with his grandmother in the mountains, as revealed in the manga. Hashino Ai keychain also shown briefly before he died. After giving birth, Ai made a comeback by doing a live stream with the Bikamichi members. The production staff made negative assumptions about Bikamichi, assuming they were only a group of idols with good looks. Masaya Kaburagi, one of the main targets of Aqua's revenge in the future, made his first appearance, and he also appeared at Ai's funeral. Although Kaburagi did not say anything about Bikamichi, Saito commented that Kaburagi is a higher-up who pretends to focus on doing good work, but in reality, only cares about the amount of money they are making. This is further revealed in Episode 3, where Kaburagi's true nature surfaces. He shows no regard for Kana's talent and is merely using her for her popularity. However, Saito and Bikamichi proved that their assumption was wrong by giving a great performance. Several days had passed since the livestream debut. 
When Ruby needed a diaper change, Miyako came to help after hearing Ruby was crying. But it turns out that Miyako had grown tired of the situation and planned to betray them by selling information about Ai having children while still working as an idol. She later took a photo of Ai's maternity handbook. The handbook was given free of charge in Japan to record the health of the mother and child from the start of pregnancy. Once the baby arrives, the book gives access to public services provided by the local government, including free checkups, dental care, and vaccinations. The handbook must include the names of the mother and children to be used, which was why Miyako took the photo as proof of Ai's babies for the media. The twins witnessed the situation and tried to stop Miyako. With the twins' clever idea, they managed to prevent Miyako from selling Ai's information by claiming that they were the incarnations of Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi. Interestingly, Aqua and Ruby's design was actually a reference to these two gods. Amaterasu is the goddess of the sun and the patron of Japan, which is known as the land of the rising sun. Amaterasu is considered the divine ancestor of Japan's emperors. Tsukuyomi, on the other hand, is the god of the moon. Tsukuyomi is described as kind and peaceful but is often regarded as an evil god because, even though he knew that killing was wrong, he would still do it to enforce his beliefs. According to legend, Tsukuyomi was born from the right eye of Izanagi, while Amaterasu was born from the left eye. This explains the twins' eyes, with the star on Ruby's left eye referencing Amaterasu, and the star on Aqua's right eye referencing Tsukuyomi. Additionally, their eye colors also reflect these references, as pink is close to red and could be associated with the sun, while blue is associated with the moon. Furthermore, their personalities as they grow up also have similarities, with Ruby having characteristics similar to the sun, which is bright and cheerful, while Aqua having traits similar to the moon, which is twisted and dark. Even their genders are a reference to Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi, being female and male, respectively. Another piece of evidence supporting this theory is that Gora died in the middle of the night, which could suggest a connection to the god of the moon. If we continue to reference the legend, Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi climbed the heavenly pillar together and ruled the heavens. Eventually, Tsukuyomi married his sister Amaterasu. Does this mean that Aqua would marry his sister Ruby once they achieve their dream? Taking a closer look at Ai, she has purple eyes with stars in both of her eyes. It's interesting to note that the combination of red and blue creates purple, which means both Ruby and Aqua are a splitting image of Ai, since they also have only one star in each eye. Additionally, the star in the Hashino family's eyes can change color between black and white depending on the situation. They turn black when they have malicious thoughts, as was shown when Ai tried to scare Saito, or when Ruby made a dark joke about wanting to sell the fan's liver. On the other hand, even though Ai's hair is purple, both Aqua and Ruby have blonde hair, which may suggest that their father also has blonde hair. Using their blonde hair as a reference, only Saito has the same blonde hair as them, but as we know, Saito is not their father. Furthermore, when we take a look at people who attended Ai's funeral, no one had blonde hair. The dark joke about selling fans' organs arose because of Ai's low salary. She had complained to Miyako about how little her salary was, despite her popularity in the industry, revealing that she only earned 208,000 yen, or about $1,550. For reference, the current minimum salary in Japan for 2023 is 310,000 yen, or about $2,300. Funnily enough, while Ai was complaining about her low salary, we could still see her eating expensive ice cream called Horigen Dock, which was a reference to the real-life brand Hagen Daz. There were other real-life brand references in the series, such as Zahu, which was a reference to Yahoo. And the other one is Gugyol, a reference to Google. When Ai was murdered by her stalker, her life flashed before her eyes and in one moment, she was shown holding a bottle of red sand with stars in it while showing it to Ruby and Aqua. It was later revealed that the stalker had given the bottle to her as a gift during a handshake event, and she had placed it on a shelf as a decoration since the day Aqua opened his eyes for the first time. What if the stalker did not get the location of Ai's house from their father, but instead planted a tracking device on the bottle of sand? Another moment that Ai saw before her death was when Ruby performed at school, and when Ai said that Ruby's dancing was really good, she was referring to that moment. Ai also thought that Ruby would be an idol herself one day. By the way, the name Hashino Ai does not have any special meaning when written in katakana. However, when written in kanji, Ai means love or affection, while Hoshi denotes stars, and no means field or wilderness. 
This could be a subtle hint at what she becomes before her death, a star who loves everyone. If we delve deeper, Hoshi phonetically means desire. So Hoshi no Ai could be translated as desire to love. This might be the reason behind Hoshi no Ai's wish to become an idol to learn how to love. In the end, she managed to express her love for her children before passing away. That covers the facts about the Ashi no Ko anime. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next episode.